Namaste, ambassadors, and welcome to Soul Horoscope Super Scope Weekly Report. My name is Christopher Wotecki. I'm your sensei to serious joy. Thank you so much for logging in and tuning in to my weekly report. This is a super scope because it's designed to serve many personalities, which I'm sure you can appreciate. Geminis and Gemini Risings. And if you have Venus and Gemini, I have a love scope for you a little bit later in the super scope. Well, it's been a long, hard winter, so to speak, for the Geminis. Lots of powerful transition and transformation. The Grand Cross in the sky is really hitting you in personal areas. And the last of the change is about to unfold. You, here as we move into this week with the Sun and Taurus, you'll be putting the final, teps, uh, final touches on your highest faith. So really having to step in and hold a very high faith. This might be that you're doing the right thing, that you've done the right thing, that sort of thing. It is faith versus reality with Saturn and Scorpio and managing your emotions in the moment and not letting them get too away from yourself. But this is also, you know, for those who want to pull off some spiritual miracles, this is also you going for something uh, and letting your heart have something on that kind of miracle level, letting, asking the universe for that miracle. Then it's your birthday. It's your birthday. The sun moves into Gemini. And at the same time, it's like a blessing. Mars goes direct. So your present from the universe is Mars goes direct for your birthday, which means everything feels a lot better regardless. This is the testosterone that has been missing from the planet. You're going to step into uh, uh, your ego right when Mars goes direct. So you're kind of the first sign to test the new ego. And the new ego really has to do with what your inner child wants. That's what you were changing in the background is going after something else your inner child really wants and maybe refraining from certain things, going after different types of love patterns and refraining from different ones. And so this will be moving forward in a very good, positive way. But we are still under uh, a grand cross, a grand cross in the sky or a grand uh, square, however you want to look at it. And from east to west here, Uranus uh, in Aries is the part that's innovating where you belong in the world. And Mars on the other side was you questioning what your heart really wanted. And the two really go together because where we belong in the world is where our heart wants to be, where our heart feels we belong. So in the last week here, Venus crossed over Uranus and you might have seen a real shift in your ability to cooperate with the world, where the world started working or your social reputation started to work, things started to work or the giving and receiving started to change. There was a new breathing in and out, a relief, which allowed you to put the finishing touches on what your heart really wants and the new information for what your heart really wants. So this tug and pull changes actually this week. When Mars goes direct, your personal dreams and love affairs technically move forward for Geminis and Gemini rising. So it's gonna be fun, I think, because uh, that's what it's about, fun, having a good time, and that fun starts as soon as Mars directs. So hang in there, your inner child will probably be cranky for a little while longer. Then Pluto versus Jupiter here. This is where the real fulcrum is. Now, Pluto is retrograding Capricorn, so the universe isn't going to ask Geminis or Gemini risings to take any new risk or have to trust yourself on any new levels. However, you do have to fill in all of the uh, boundary issues and be clear on your boundaries from what you do know and fill that in. What's moving forward though is your soul capital, your manifestations, your projects, your babies, and the universe is going to keep watering and watering and watering your soul garden when it comes to manifestation right now. Jupiter is in Cancer and that for you means manifestation. So Jupiter is what's pushing really everything forward that your garden is growing whether you're ready or not, dragging you along. Now this grand trine in water also adds some interesting uh, details to the whole story because as your values move forward, that's technically what's moving forward and fertile, uh, you have to maintain your emotional boundaries in the moment. So you have to be clear on what you can and can't do in the moment, what you can and can't handle in the moment, be in touch with yourself in the moment. And if you do that, career heals itself. So Chiron will say that career heals itself. In fact, this week the universe is gonna ask you, is your career healed? Do you feel like it's healed? Do you feel like it's finally going where you want to go? So that is exciting too for the Geminis. So as we start off here in week three, there's just a couple of days I wanna point out. One is Saturday and Sunday may be a real test of uh, some of your faith or boundaries or some sort of heebie-jeebies or a little bit of vulnerability as you are upgrading your personal trust to meet all these changes I was talking about in the first slide. Then on Monday, the moon moves into Aquarius, so it moves into learning and it's more detached. 
But Tuesday is the real radical day. As Mars goes direct, you will be tested on that faith. So something in life might test you on your faith. Something might not look right the last minute, something might, whatever. It doesn't matter what the detail is. It's a test of faith right when Mars goes direct. So the energies, it's like hurricane kind of weather. And we have a yacht, which means the God universe has an opinion on how to get through this day. And that is for you to maintain those emotional boundaries in the moment. That's what the yacht is pointing to is Saturn in Scorpio retrograde. So Tuesday might be a bit intense. Then it becomes more about career as your birthday period begins. So as we move into your birthday, you'll be feeling career issues. In fact, on Thursday, actually anytime this week, pay very close attention to what your feelings say about your career, even if your feelings are telling you something ludicrous, because spiritual miracles are happening right now for you in career, and you might start to feel those spiritual miracles as of Thursday, Friday. So interesting stuff. So for this week, you're going to trust and manifest that higher faith in yourself, and then you're going to begin to explore your thoughts around who you are and who you aren't. That's really what birthday periods are about. And in the first chapter of a birthday, you're saying, I am not this, I am not that, I don't do windows, I don't do this. So it's very much a, a part of that. So for those who have Venus and Gemini, the five VQs, uh, there has been a radical change in life as well. And it has also been with social setting. Last week when Venus crossed over Uranus, the Venus uh, in Gemini personalities probably changed their personality as to the group or social circle in which you attract or aim or hang out with. You might have just let go of one or your heart might have given up on some sort of social dream that was maybe more of a dream and not what your heart really wanted. Um, these social dreams lead to where our partners are because we tend to always kind of, uh, you know, end up, you know, marrying in our circles. And so you're technically changing circles right now or adding to your circle. If you're in an existing relationship and you have a VQ5, uh, Venus in Gemini, that is, um, <clears throat> you're going to find that the couple's reputation is going through profound change right now. And the couple's reputation is heading for a new social group alignment, networking, etc. So kind of similar karma. Um, and there may be issues at home from just the pressures of social. So if you're in a long term and you have a VQ5, uh, you might have some pressures in society that are coming at home. So I have actually recorded a 30 minute video that gets very deep called the May Megascopes. And for Gemini's or Gemini Risings, you can download this MP3 or video. And I get a little deeper and get to get into the backstory of all these issues. So if you're interested, come on down to soulmart.me. These do keep me on the air, so I thank you in advance for purchasing. If you're interested in reading, I've got a special right now, two half hours for $99.99. That's about $35 off the normal price, and you can book for the whole year right now. 30 minutes are a great way to set up and finish a particular issue in your life. Come on down to soulmart.me for more details on that. And if you're watching on YouTube, we ask, please be kind and subscribe. And if you're on Facebook, you can share us with your friends by going to soulmart, excuse me, soulgarden.me. And lastly, we have a new webcam talk show coming out this summer called Astro Gossip. If you have a webcam and want to come on and talk gossip with astrology on camera with us, come to astrogossip.com. All right, that's all I have for the week, Geminis and Ambassadors. I wish you good luck in that test of faith and an early happy birthday. And until next week, remember I love you and live, love, be.